so we get some good door <laughs> You already no, we know. Um, this is from, this is the craft place we're eating from. This is a really good place. It's right up the street. It's like two doors down, all right? All right. So this is hot. Though. Yeah, we have Seafood. No, you're good. You're set good. You're still good. Good body girl. Let's go. Come on. Anyways, seafood here. Yeah, seafood here. Watch out how you go. Welcome back to Shell's channel. It's your girl Shirley. I'm back with another video. So today we're going to do a mukbang, okay? Some seafood. And this is where we're eating from. This is your girl Smo. This is your girl Jenny. And we're back together with another video, okay? So today we're going to do some question and answer. I don't have any questions. That's good. Come from top of my head. Cut it, bad man. Cut it. Smell good. Smell nice. Smell nice. What am I saying? Look at that. Look at that. You see the, you see the, you see shrimp, lobster, crab. Nice. Nice, $50 yeah. $50, guys. $50. $50. Do you want to support them? Support the people, then. Nice, nice. How much do I tell you, Megan? And then remember, don't forget okay, to subscribe simple. and like. Subscribe, like, comment down below. And share the video. Don't yes, ma'am. We got um gloves and apron. What is it? This is napkins, lemon scented um napkins. Okay. Our gloves on the neck, etc., etc. My chair is ready. Uh, What's your favorite food? Seafood. <laughs> That's true. Our both of our favorite food is seafood. Like, I fun fact, I grew up on seafood in Jamaica. We used to have like these things called crawfish that we're about to eat now. And we used to I, put I think these soup. ones is not like the same as like, Jamaica crawfish. Yeah, it's not. I'm sure. All right. One. Mm -hmm. Put them on. So excited! And one for me. Which one you want? Crap! I said crap. Coin. Coin. What you guys think about the Shenzi um song? Yes. Okay. Well, she's 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 half Jamaican, but she didn't really grow up in Jamaica. But she loved the Shenzi's new song. It's called Lick. It's so good. It really is. I really do like it. Well, from my opinion, when I first um, saw it, it was like shocking to me because she don't normally sing those songs. I feel like she have because if you if very true Shenzia, Shenyang, period, you would know she sang um, Time Me Up for Play. Um, be good she sings so many songs so i really feel like that's her i think jamaicans are just making a big fuss of it because she sang it with an international person instead of jamaican and they're upset because of that because they want her to stay in jamaica because jamaicans always gatekeep and very territorial and they get jealous a lot too so thank you my mama full up the place the man mama full up the plate. Comment below, guys, and tell us your opinion on Shenzhen's song. I liked it. She liked it. Shirley, she liked it, but it was she was shocked by it. Oh, no, boy, you can't tell my opinion. Sorry, go on. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, mom. I mean, I don't know what to say about it on my behalf. All I'm saying is just shocking to me. She don't know what to say. Do some. I feel like those videos, she like, she made it better for herself. Because usually, she have like regular sexy videos, whatever. But this one's different because it was transitioning to these different rooms. Her hair was different. Like, she, I feel like she's becoming like more of an artist. Nicole, you know? She's growing. 
And she really, it really shows she's grown. Like, look at the, her earlier music videos compared to ones now. I feel like she's grown as an artist, and I love Do her. Do um, think, um, that she, that she got the wrong person maybe in her, writing her songs or more? Like, doesn't she write her song herself? Do you know that? I could have sworn she's Sometime, okay. Well, for this one, I don't think she write it. Um, probably. Oh, no. oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, I think so. I'm not sure. This thing full of grease. Yes, it's very greasy. Oh, how that oil? Let me, let me, um, sign us run. And they say it's spicy. It's not, it's not all that spicy, guys. It's not too spicy at all. So if you don't like spicy food, okay, um. It's not like seasoning, basically. Because all I'm tasting is a bunch of seasoning. It's just spicy. Because they got, um, mild, medium, spicy, extra spicy. Which one is this? Extra spicy. Really? It's not even spicy. Seeing, seeing a plant to kill me. Plant me knows the one. Cause you get extra spicy, then tell nobody, you know? I was gonna ask you if you like extra spicy, but... But you not ask. You just slip me from the teeth. I don't know. Yeah, sure, bro. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. I keep this up here, and as soon as I hold the hands, then I hold it. I was up at the front when she was buying it. I don't know what she talking about. You guys not like to know? Hey. Guys, so my question is, do you think just flirting with another significant other is cheating. What are your opinions? I never had lobster. Wait, hold on. I never had lobster in my life, so it's my first time trying lobster. Is that right? But go ahead. Me? Anybody? Yes, I do think that's cheating. Why? Because you said I'm playing with no other girl when you got a girlfriend. Exactly. What do you think, Miss Mia? Well, it's, it's um basically what you what you call flirting. Okay, my version of flirting is like okay, there's two parts. In person, it's like you and a girl going back and forth. You like you know that energy that you give off when you're flirting. Now like. The body, your your body go close, etc., etc. That's cheating. Oh, but over text, it's like if a girl texts you and you know you have a girlfriend, you hear entertaining the conversation, or you be, or you be like, oh, I have a girlfriend. I, I'm sorry about that. Like, why are you sorry that you have a girlfriend? Like, so I think flirting with somebody is cheating. Can I get a potato, please? Can I potato? Mm -hmm. It's weird. Who doesn't? Who doesn't like potato? You want potato? Mm -hmm. Not potato. Not with this. Really? Alright, Simone, you got a question? Guys, so fast. <laughs> Do you feel strongly about something? I got it. So what if, what if somebody come to you, um, to you? Say your friend, um, she comes up with you. My boyfriend? How would you react about the situation? Oh. Honestly? Good question. Okay, let me go into this question. So, if it was any other boys, if it was any other, other boys, like my exes or whatever, I don't, I think I would just be mad at him and just block him. And start get like start the healing process. But if it was the boyfriend that I have now, oh, he did. I'm sorry for both of them. <laughs> he did. Because, huh? Okay. Um, the way I feel about my boyfriend now, I never feel about any other boys. So I, it would be more of a like heartbreak and shocking. <laughs> To find him mess with my best friend, first of all, my best friend. Not even a random girl, my best friend. 
or something that you can't like pass the forgiveness. You know what I'm saying? You can forgive. Mm -hmm. You're gonna forgive, but you're not gonna forgive. And I don't think I'll forgive for right now. Because. because when you walk away, because you don't do the same thing over you. Exactly. And I'm never gonna beg somebody to stay in my life. And I also will never give someone a second chance for cheating because I know, like, I see them the same. Like, I may still love them and everything, but the relationship won't be the same because I'm also have in my mind that you're probably cheating on the love and stuff like that. So, I'm going to just end it. Hope it wish you the best. And move on my life. Come on, <laughs> That's what come from the arm. Um, the scraper. Mm -hmm. Don't even taste like chicken. Mm-mm. I'm sorry to have my seasoning, though. They say it's nice. They are like, oh, yeah, it's nice. Ray, 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 ray. How much would you, would you rate the seafood? Like an eight, so eight, nine. Eight, nine? With this seafood? I like it. That's crazy. What would you rate it? <laughs> Mine's like an eight. Yeah. People hyped it up a lot. So you guys, speaking of a good drink, you want you guys to, um, kind of good drink or what? Huh? So did it, can you guys just say eight? Mm-mm. <laughs> have a potato, please. Is it warm? It brings us the right potatoes. Mom, for each and every person. <laughs> Here's mine. I love these potatoes. Can you taste the corn? I like the potatoes. I never had the egg. Mm. You know why it's nicer to you guys? Because mine is for this. Me and Simone. And I taste all of this. Me and Simone are going to get this um Tuesday. After we get our nails done. Because we're getting Valentine's Day now. Oh, shoot. Sure. Mm -hmm. Sure, you don't know how to eat seafood. Um, your favorite TV channel growing up? My favorite TV channel was Cartoon Network. <laughs> nice old Gumball, regular show. You know what? Can I have you know what Cartoon Network? Yeah. Tom and Jerry. <laughs> what? I feel like Tom and Jerry was just so basic. Basic. It was good. Basic. Jerry and, um, what they call it? Eddie and Eddie. That was good. I really watched it, though. But that was good. I liked it. I forgot. I like the homeless kids watching the kids next door. Oh, someone started watching anime. Someone started watching yeah, anime. Yeah, kids kid next door is good. <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. What? <clears throat> you know what? Yeah. Me. <laughs> I yes, always thought anime was cool. If Christ in your vessel, if Christ in your vessel, you can smile at the storm. Yes. Also remember, you can beat whatever you're going through. You're fine. God ha got you. God got you. You always got you. Just pray. Yes. Right, that guys. So thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye. Bye.